Well, Facebook admitted that it greatly overstated how much time on average users were spending watching video on the platform because they excluded video watch for fewer than three seconds from the average viewing times. Now, over you accidentally click on something and it pops up and you're like, get me out of here, get me out of here. Well, no, this is here. more if you if you saw something in your news stream yeah. and you just saw it for a second. They didn't count that one second in the average. Got it. So it's in this over average viewing time. Now, this is over the past two plus years, and it shared these inflated measurements with advertisers as it was competing with YouTube and really stressing to everyone, including investors, its focus on video. Now, this duration overstatement, reportedly by as much as 80%, did not boost Facebook's revenue because advertisers pay not based on duration, but on the total number of times a video is viewed. So Facebook apologized. The VP of Video and Marketing Partnerships, David Fisher, writing in a blog post Friday, quote, while this is only one of the many metrics marketers look at, we take any mistakes seriously. Our clients trust and belief in our metrics is essential to us, and we have to earn that trust. Now, on this news, Facebook shares ended down at 1.6%. Pre-market, they are trading just fractionally lower and very light trading. Now, analysts at Cowan and Company, as well as Wells Fargo, both issued notes saying they're not concerned about implications about this misstep, citing the fact that ad agencies are focused on the cost per view rather than viewing time. So we'll have to see if Facebook's rivals use this to their but the advantage. The big question is, do you get a do you get a view count for somebody who trips on it for three seconds? Well, yes, because basically you always do. So you know how much stuff I try and shut but down so <laughs> because it accidentally starts playing on my computer. Well, so and the first thing I do is go to the mute button and shut it off. The next thing I do is look for a way to click it so off and get it away. For Facebook, advertisers pay based on the total number of views, right. even if you just see something for a second right. in your newsfeed. And the reason why, and I asked about this, some advertisers opt to pay if you've watched something for 10 seconds or if you've watched the entirety of a video. So advertisers have opted. Do you want to pay per one second click, 10 seconds, or not and even the, click, and one second? And the price is much more. Or, yes, or per completed view. But here's the thing. They say that Nielsen has found that you have an impression of a brand, even if you've only seen a video for a second. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.